Hello everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to create a cross dissolve effect inside the cut window in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Press Ctrl and I to insert video clips into your project file. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master, left click once on your first video clip. A red outline should appear around this particular thumbnail to indicate that it is selected. Go to left click once on a append underneath your media pool to place this video clip at the start of your empty timeline at zero seconds. Your red playhead should appear in place at the end of your newly inserted video clip. Return to your media pool, left click once on the second video clip to select this and go to append this video clip also so that it appears on your timeline after your initial video clip. My intention is to create a dissolve effect where the clip of Bobby the dog dissolves to black and then dissolves onto a video clip featuring a red bucket. Underneath your toolbar, left click once on transitions and underneath video in the dissolve options, right click on cross dissolve and choose set as standard transition. Go to project settings in the bottom right corner. Left click once. Underneath timeline format in the new window which appears, you should see the playback frame rate of your video project. Across the whole timeline in my current project, the playback frame rate will be 24. So 24 still images will be shown per second. Left click on cancel. Ensure that your red playhead is in close proximity to the end of your edit that you wish to apply a cross dissolve effect to. So if we want the cross dissolve effect to appear at the beginning of this video edit featuring the red bucket, the red indicator should be close to this end here towards the left side of your timeline. Using my mouse cursor, I'm going to left click on the red playhead on my middle timeline inside my cut window. With the left mouse button held down on the red playhead, I am going to drag my mouse cursor towards the start of this particular video edit. You can also change the position of the red playhead by holding in K and tapping J to move this to an earlier section of your video clip. Or alternatively holding in K and tapping L to move the playhead to a later stage of your video clip. With my red indicator closer to the beginning of my video clip with the red bucket than it is to the end, I'm going to press V on my keyboard once. Note how the red indicator has now jumped to the point at the end of the video clip with Bobby and to the very start of the red bucket clip. A fading red shade has also appeared on my timeline here. You can also see this on the bottom timeline next to the red indicator line. The faint red shade represents the position on your timeline where your cross dissolve transition will appear. At present, this is going to appear at the start of the bucket clip as the very beginning of the bucket clip edit is highlighted in red. If we wish to add this transitional effect to the previous dog clip instead, we need to press U on the keyboard. Note how the end of the video clip with Bobby is now highlighted in red. To insert the transition, press Ctrl and T. This creates the effect needed to make the clip of Bobby dissolve to black. Note how the subsequent clip of the red bucket appears without any transitional effect. Going back to my timeline now, if I undo this particular transition by pressing Ctrl and Z on my keyboard, if we were to press U once more, Note how a red faint effect appears at the end of the dog clip and the beginning of the red bucket clip to indicate that a transitional effect will be spread across the end of one clip and the beginning of another. However, if Ctrl and T is pressed here, the cross dissolve transition is not added, meaning that two separate cross dissolve effects need to be added, one at the end of the clip with the dog and the subsequent one appearing at the beginning of the red bucket clip. If I redo my last action of placing the cross dissolve effect on my timeline by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Z, I now have the effect back on my timeline. 
what we need to do now is add a similar effect to the start of the second edit on the timeline here. With my red playhead in position at the end of the dog clip, I will press V on my keyboard once more and press U to apply the faint red effect to the start of the red bucket clip only. Press Ctrl and T to insert the cross dissolve transition. And now we have a video clip where the image of Bobby fades to black and the image of the red bucket fades in. The length of the transitions can be modified manually also by left clicking on the relevant transitional edits on your timeline. Note how each of these transitions run for one second each. Note when we left click and hold our mouse button down over the edge of the selected transitional edit on the bottom timeline, two numbers appear in a grey box just above our mouse cursor. The top duration reader represents the very start of this transition and the bottom number represents how long this transitional effect will run for. The first two digits to the left represent the number of seconds that the transition runs for and the second pair of digits to the right represents the number of frames after a particular second mark. So for example with my left mouse button held down if I drag my mouse cursor to the left the reader at the top indicates that the transition will now start five frames earlier than it did in its previous position and the bottom reader indicates that this transition will now run for one second and five frames. And if I drag my mouse cursor to the right with the left mouse button still held down the top number indicates that the transition will now commence three frames later on the timeline given the addition symbol if I let go of the left mouse button with the whole transition now lasting 21 frames. And if we go to the source tape towards the top of your cut window we can see a bar representing the sound levels in this particular video project. The section made up of a whole green rectangle represents the sound effect from the clip with Bobby. And we can see that even with the cross dissolve transition applied towards the end of the video clip, this will not mean that the sound level goes down also. It only results in the video fading to black. Note how on the final video the cross dissolve transition is automatically set by DaVinci Resolve to fade in or out depending on where it was placed on the edit on your timeline. At the beginning this will result in the transition fading in and if the effect was inserted at the end of your edit this will automatically be set to fade out. To remove a transition edit from your timeline simply left click once on the relevant edit on your cut timeline and press backspace or delete on your keyboard. Use delete if you are a Mac user. What if we wanted to create a transition effect where one video dissolves to another without dissolving to or from black? Returning to an earlier phase of this video project where I just inserted the clip of Bobby and appended the clip of the bucket tool with both edits unmodified. With my red indicator closer to the beginning of my video clip with the red bucket than it is to the end, I'm going to press V on my keyboard once. The red playhead is currently located at the 5 second mark on my project timeline. The cross dissolve transition cannot be implemented with the two current edits as they are unmodified. What we need to do is trim off 12 frames from each individual edit here on the timeline. Once these 12 frames from either edit are removed, these are stored in the memory for DaVinci Resolve and can then be used in the transition effect. The 12 deleted frames from the first video clip will be played over the first 12 frames of the second video clip. Whereas the first 12 frames deleted from the second video clip will be played faintly over the final 12 frames of the first video clip. In order to shift the red indicator to the appropriate location on this particular bucket clip here, I'm going to hold in K and tap L until the red indicator is at the appropriate frame number. As previously mentioned, we want to delete 12 frames from each of the two video clips. 
So I'm going to hold in K in this case here and tap L 12 times. Go to left click once on split clips to make your trim. Return your red indicator to the point between your two videos by left clicking, holding your mouse button down and dragging the cursor to the right or by holding in K and tapping J. You can also left click on this skip backward button below your video preview. Back at the five second mark, what we now need to do is make the trim on the clip of Bobby. Holding in K, tap J to move the red indicator to the left. I will tap J 12 times. Again, checking the duration reader, we have gone backwards by 12 frames on the timeline. Go to left click once again on split clips. Hold control and left click once on each of the small edits you have trimmed out on your timeline which make up the 12 frames from both clips that you want to remove. Press delete on your keyboard. With the two clips connecting again, press V on your keyboard. Now note that the color shade which appears between the two clips is green and not red. Press U until you see a green shade appearing on both sides of your red playhead line. Press Ctrl and T and now you should have an edit which appears on your timeline which stretches across the end and beginning of the two clips connected on your timeline. In this case here we have a transition which runs for a full second comprising of 24 frames. And as you can see on the preview here, as the red bucket appears, the 12 deleted frames of Bobby are shown in a transparent way. Just the same way as the red bucket appears towards the end of the clip with Bobby. Left click once on the edit on the bottom timeline. And we can see the 12 frames from each of the two video clips which were previously deleted stored in the DaVinci Resolve memory. Should you wish to use less frames for this particular transition here, which you previously deleted, simply left click on the edge of the cross dissolve rectangle, hold your mouse button down and drag this inwards, making the overall length of the transition shorter. So in this updated example here, we now have nine frames from each individual clip being implemented into the final transition. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the video and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.